How you doing, guys? Welcome back to Coffee and Juice. So once again, as we take our walks through Pattaya, Thailand, one thing I want to bring out is that you might have a question on when you come to the region, depending on how much time you have or latitude you have regarding your own personal life, can you escape for good? Can you, you know, take a long vacation? Should you do a short-term rental, long-term rental, or should you actually purchase real estate out here in Thailand? Now, when we talk about purchasing real estate, Understand that the real estate laws are quite different out here. And what would behoove you is to read the fine print. Because a lot of times you can buy something and it's not necessarily yours because there's a freehold, there's something called a leasehold, and you have all these things that could be cumbersome legally, which will translate to you maybe not getting a situation that you want. You can't really Airbnb it. You got to go through the management that is basically running the property. So maybe actually purchasing isn't really ideal for you. So now, when it comes to the short-term rental, obviously that could be good because you might want to bounce around. And then there's the in-between. I have a certain philosophy because once again, I'm a short-term renter, which means like two months here and two months there. And one of the main reasons why is that my philosophy is this. You should not be in a region so long or a province or jurisdiction. That's the nomenclature out here in Thailand that you start to hate the people and the people start to hate you. And then also it's natural that your information, depending on your own operational security on how much information you give to people will get out into the streets. Because remember the landscape, you may not be aware of it, is that the streets are watching you all the time. The massage girls are looking at the window. They know your whole pattern. The restaurant people know your whole pattern. And then also you might be someone who, you know, might be a nice person. You start telling people your life story. You might go into the parlors. And what happens is, is that you're going to get rifled through a whole bunch of questioning. It's going to sound something like this. Are you married? Do you have kids? Where are you from? Now, a lot of you are going to think that these are harmless questions which they could be. But there's a flip side of that coin. There's a very large economic divide. And you are a dollar sign, my friend. So now you might be like, oh, that's a pretty massage girl. What could go wrong? But what could go wrong is that pretty massage girl might know a couple of guys and be like, oh, this guy's from New York. He's talking like this and he's talking like that. He's showing off his money, et cetera, et cetera. So now what happens is, oh, where are you staying? Oh, well, I'm staying basically in this particular condo. And they're like, oh, okay, that's cool. And maybe one of them visit you. And maybe they set you up. Now, obviously, this channel isn't full of negativity. Like you, if you've been watching, I will highlight some positive. But like I always tell you, the onus is on me. If this is a travel channel, obviously, I'm going to go around and be like, hey, look at this. This is where you could go and this is what you could do. But then there's a flip side of the coin. If I don't protect you, once again, you might walk into something that they might, they might not be a way out of it. So once again, you could, you know, I always tell you, follow whoever you want, subscribe, take in all this information. But when it comes to what I'm going to try to give you is that you might be thinking inside the box. Sometimes I'm once again, going to think outside of the box for you due to my experience and my prior background. All right. So coffee and juice, hopefully got something out of that. And I wish you well. Thanks.